good YouTube this your boy Lane man and I'm back here with another reaction video of slime and right now I'm about to react to a video for Maury and this one's called the girl who set her boyfriend up and got him killed now with this video right here a lot of y'all been hitting me to react to you feel me because a lot of y'all like know me from the music reactions and some of y'all know me from the my forensic video my forensic file videos and like my current like my criminal like killer videos that I do like of like like the of like mur like like of like murderers and all that you feel me and a lot of y'all was hit me to react to this you feel me a lot of y'all was like Lang bro I know I know you do like the forensic file cases and I know you do like the murder file cases so bro do this one you feel me and this one's gonna be a little different you feel me. Cause this is this was when the girl said her boyfriend and I was like, that's crazy. So I had to do it. You feel me? And this is why I always tell y'all too. Like in almost every reaction video, like that's why I always tell y'all, like bro, watch who you trust. Like, cause it could be your family member, your girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, your homie, home girl. Like, bro, <laughs> those it could be them type those people. You feel me? It could be the same people that could take you out. You feel me? Because they got jealousy over you. Because you're doing something that, you feel me, that they're not doing. Or they just mad at you because you're out here living living your best life. And they somehow, some will, they, they just mad because they can't, like, feel me? That's why I always tell y'all, like, watch who you trust, bro. And watch who you love, bro. Because for real, like, because people, like, people got motives out here. Like, and it be the people that you... You wouldn't think would do it to you, but it'd be them. You feel me? So I don't lie. That's why I don't like. I I feel like some of y'all be like, "Lang, bro, like, bro, like, you just saying this to say, like, no, I don't be saying stuff to be saying it, bro. Like, I be saying it to help y'all so y'all don't go through what I already went through and what I didn't see. You feel me? But with this one, like I said, with this one right here, like, we about to see what happened. You feel me? Like. We about to see like why she set her boyfriend up, like why she set the homie up for like, like we about to, man, we just about to find out what happened, like, cause this this is crazy, you feel me? And before I get started, slime, y'all already know if y'all new over here, make sure to hit that sub button, you feel me? Make sure to check out all the reactions over here. We got the forensic five reactions, music reactions, the funny reactions, like we got it all over here on the channel. So make sure to tap in with those if you haven't already, you feel me? And and another thing, you feel me? I know some of y'all probably probably gonna be like, Lane, we don't care about this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. But I don't know if like y'all are football fans or not, but did y'all did y'all see that the my 49ers and the Rams, bro? I, I told all the homies, you feel me? My 49ers are gonna win. And they, nah, bro, they gonna lose, and we won. You feel me? We in them playoffs, baby. So let's get it. You feel me? But that's that's besides the point but let's get into this video you feel me this the girl who set her boyfriend up and got him killed we about to find out what happened let's get into a slime and make sure y'all grab your favorite uh drink favorite smoke favorite snack because you already know how i do on these videos we about to chill for like the next 20 minutes you feel me so let's get it slime let's go on January 3rd, 4 p.m. local time, police were called following reports of an attack that happened in a town called Reading, Berkshire. And this is in England. But unfortunately though, the boy that the emergency calls were made for passed away at the scene while mm. trying to fight for his life. And he died by a knife wound made to the back of his neck by the sword that you guys are seeing right here on your wow. screens. I mean, it's a really sad situation and this kid was unfortunately the victim of the narcissism and selfishness of the people around him. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going into the details of what happened to him, why it happened, and the aftermath that took place. Oliver, or Ollie for short, as his friends and family called him, is a 13-year-old boy who went to a local school named Highdown in his town of Reading, England. According to his parents, though, Ollie would- Wait a second. This bro, little dude was 13? So these had to be some kids. You feel me? That did, that, 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 that would- Mm-mm-mm, bro. That's a shame, bro. 13, bro. Diagnosed with autism and was suspected to have something called pathological demand avoidance. This means that not only did Ollie have trouble communicating and behaving normally, 
but he also had a tendency to go against what he was told to do. And it may seem like I'm <laughs> trying to put this kid in a bad light to some of you, but nah, that's not what I'm trying to do at all. I just wanted to shed some light on the difficulties that this kid was already going through before his life was unfortunately stripped away from him. And the most painful part about this whole situation is that Ali didn't even die on the spot when he was stabbed. After wow. the incident, he was fighting for his life, trying to make his way back home from the park wow. of which he was stabbed at. And the witnesses who saw this kid, this random kid, stumbling and stabbed with blood covered all over him, tried to revive him and did what they could do to keep Ali alive until the paramedics could arrive. But sadly, it was a failed attempt. However, as of now, what we know from officials is that his murder was conspired by a group of teenagers. A girl and a boy aged 13 and another boy aged 14. Bro, all y'all was kids, bro. Y'all don't even know what y'all doing for real. You feel me? Like, y'all haven't even lived life, bro. You feel me? Like, y'all, y'all. Come on, bro. What are y'all doing? Like, why was y'all even on this type of time at 14, 13 years old? This is why, bro, you gotta watch. You just gotta, you just gotta raise your kids right, bro. Like, you just gotta, you, yeah. Because, bro, no 13, 14-year-old kid should be on this type of time. You feel me? Like, where they parents at? Who raised... Who... Mm -mm -mm. All of them have been charged with conspiracy to commit grievous bodily harm. And since then, they have been held in a youth detention custody center. And the date set for their trial is the 21st of June. And it was said that the trial itself would last anywhere from between five to six weeks. So it's going to be uh, pretty drawn out. And during the hearing of their case, they were told that their crime was so heinous that if they were adults... Let's just go, please! You turn up day! I'll burn the they could have easily landed 14 years in prison without a trial. In addition to those charges, the 13-year-old girl was also charged for perversion of the course of justice. In other words, she was found to not only delete information from her phone that linked her to the murder, but also told her... Yeah, because, bro, let's be real. It's a fit, bro, she's 13. Like, she don't even know what she, None of these... They don't even know what they're doing for real because, bro, they haven't even lived through life. You feel me? And... She's doing her kids, bro, let's be, she's scared. Because she knew what she did, bro, was, yeah, it was all fun and games until somebody got killed. Feel me? It's all fun and games until somebody gets smoked or something happened. And then it's not funny no more. It ain't games no more. Feel me? And she realized that. That's why she's going in there and deleting all. But guess what, bro? <laughs> this the, no... <laughs> That's the government. Like, bro, once you, bro, no, then when them, when them boys get on you, ain't no, you can't erase none of that because they going to find all that. You feel me? You can't get away with murder, bro. You can't. You feel me? And I don't, I don't understand why you, why, why y'all was even on this type of time with this kid. Like, for what? <laughs> feel me? This. Where y'all parents at? Who who raised y'all? That's what I want. Who raised y'all? Feel me? Because whoever raised y'all didn't do their job right. Clearly. Feel me? And y'all can say what y'all want to say. Lame, bro. You being too hard. It is what it is. I don't give a damn. It is what it is. Y'all can say what y'all want. But, bro. Come on, now. This was... This was Un, definitely uncalled for. This had this should not even have happened, bro. You guys are just kids. You feel me? Accomplices to do so as well. Oliver's family described this ordeal as every parent's worst nightmare. And they extended a message of gratitude to everyone in the situation who tried to help in any way that they could, including an off-duty doctor who actually tried to save him when he found Oliver fighting his way home. I mean, this is, this is brutal. Like, in his last dying seconds, this kid could think of nothing else but making his way back home to his, his parents, his mom, his dad, and his siblings. 
But as I said earlier in the video, Oliver studied in a school near his home called High Down School, which was where people were laying flowers to pay him tribute. And to help Oliver's family with expenses such as funeral costs, you know, especially during this crippling pandemic, his friends have set up a crowdfunding campaign with a goal of about 21,000 pounds and is soon to be reaching that target. And actually, at the time of this recording, the goal has been met of uh, 21,960 pounds. That so it's good so to know that Oliver's family and, uh, you know, close ones are, are getting the financial help that they... A shout out to y'all, too, whoever whoever donated to help, bro. Boys, shout out to y'all, bro. You feel me? Desperately need. And you know, it's absolutely tragic that a, uh, a murder happened in a park where, you know, people are supposed to be having fun at family gatherings picnics you know you go there to walk your dog hang out with your friends or you know play catch football whatever the case may be but um now every time people go to that park they'll be reminded of the heinous murder of a 13 year old kid that took place there and let's not forget that ollie was diagnosed with autism which means that he already had trouble communicating and navigating the world of being a teenager you know being 13 years old he, he had his whole life ahead of him but unfortunately, it was tragically cut short. The loss of Oliver Stevens has left a void in his family and in their own description. An Ollie-sized hole has been left in our hearts. His older sister, Amelia, who was 16 at the time, put out a statement on her social media apologizing to him, saying, I'm sorry I failed you. I wish I could have saved you from it all. And she ends it with a promise to pursue those who committed the crime. Quote, we will get justice for you, my angel. Honestly, this is mm. uh, brutal. Now let's talk about the suspects in this case. And to start off, this is the information that I found on the internet, and not all of it is 100% verifiable, but they were constantly being circulated by people on different social media platforms. So uh, take some of it with a grain of salt. First off is the 13-year-old girl named Skylar. She was apparently the girlfriend of Oliver Stevens from what's been gathered on. And before, I'm not even trying to be funny, bro, but she, bro, she looked like she, 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 she's going to be one of them type of females that's out here being fast, wild, and foul, bro. Bro, look, look, just look at what she's doing on, what's that, Instagram Live, bro? She's 13. That's what I mean. Like, bro, where your parents at? Like, where your, like. Like, what is, like, what is this? Feel me? The internet, you know, I, I, I saw this on Twitter the first day it took place. So here's how the story goes based on what I've heard. Ali yelled at Skylar at a party for sending revealing pictures, which are nudes, of herself to other people. And he was mad at her for, you know, basically cheating what I just digitally. And uh, Skylar, being the uh, obviously narcissistic, entitled girl that she is, she didn't take that well and proceeded to put up a modern-day bounty hunt on her boyfriend through Snapchat. I know it sounds weird, but apparently this is exact. Bro, what you mean, bro? Like, any type of real boyfriend, dude, whatever, bro, if they girlfriend is out, if they significant other is out here posting nude pictures and everybody, and she sent it, bro, of course they gonna get mad, bro, because nobody wants to date a thought. And I'm sorry to call you this, but we gonna call you Thought Skyler. From now on to this video, you Thought Skyler, bro. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Feel me? Cause you think being wild and fast is cool. So now I'm putting you, you getting put in that category. Feel me? Since you wanna be that, then you getting put in that. You feel me? And to be honest, little homie could have did way better than you. You feel me? Because it's obvious that you didn't really care about the little, little homie. You the one that got him killed. <laughs> feel me? Like, come on, man. And y'all kids, bro. Like, bro, bro shouldn't even have... Like, I understand, like, but bro should have not have been worried about no no female. Like, I, man, you should, man, bro. They're... Nah, man. Nah. Huh? what happened but this is what she posted to snapchat she said my boyfriend has been pissing me off lately and yesterday he shouted at me for sending nudes to someone else so i want to set him up to get robbed or stabbed wow. but not killed so just stab him in the hand or something 
Bro, what do you mean? You're insensitive, bro. You insensitive, bro. Bro. <laughs> so you're planning. You're planning. You're, you, you're, you're planning on them. This is the type of stuff what I mean, bro. Like, what is this? Like, bro, like, you really got, and it's crazy that you really got 13-year-olds that are, like, like, that are, that, that for real will do this type of shit, you feel me? That's why, like, bro, watch your kids, bro. If y'all got kids, bro, watch your kids, bro, so they don't end up like this, you feel me? Just because, bro, you know how many couples have been in arguments and all that? They not, they not, oh, yeah, I'm gonna stab so like, What? You know, how, you know how dumb you sound? You feel me? And you think the police is really not about to go back and see all this stuff, bro? Like, come on, man. Like, that's what I mean. She didn't, like, bro, none of these people knew no better. They're 13 or kids, bro. But at the end of the day, you wanted you wanted to be the thought Skyler. So now, look, now you're going to have to be, you feel me? You you now you gotta be what you wanted to be. You wanted to be a thought and be a, a be a be 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 a head honcho. So now you may, feel me. Now you gotta walk that walk. Teach him a lesson. I will bring him to the destination for you to do it. Stat me if you want to do it. Need it done this week. And of course, at the very top, you can see her um her price of what she was willing to pay out is a uh, 154 dollars or shame, pounds bro. and 94p so yeah she posted what essentially is a bounty hunt on snapchat with a price tag of what you put money uh, 154 on head, uh, pounds which translates to what, what like 175 dollars which i doubt a 13 year old has and on top of that she said she would lure him to the destination for him to get robbed or you know stabbed however upon my uh, uh little bit of research i did I found out that Skyler has a TikTok page that has quite a large following of about 25,000 followers, which is pretty impressive for a 13 year old. But I mean, in this day and age, any, any girl, regardless of her age, seems to be pretty popular online. So. Yeah, because you got weirdos out here that are following, you got grown men that I, I bet you that were talking to this girl. Feel me? Cause bro, cause she's trying to portray herself like that, like a grown woman. You feel me? That's out here being wild and fast. That's why, you, like I said, bro, you gotta, you brush. <laughs> bro, watch your kids, bro. Cause like I said, bro, you don't want them doing this type of shit. You feel me? That's not a surprise. But since the incident, it has been set to private. And since then, there has been a disgusting amount of copycat accounts out there trying to profit off of her crime. I guess they're trying to, you know, steal the the spotlight, the limelight, or the popularity of anybody who's trying to find her real account. And and anytime something like this happens, where someone kills someone else, or someone commits a horrific crime, there are always copycat accounts out there. It, it, I just find it weird. It's it's bizarre. But if you try to contact any of these fake profiles, uh, they're mostly filled with trolls. You'll actually get some responses from them. You know, pretending to be Skyler, of course. Like this one that says, "I told you guys to rob him, not M him." and M in this context referring to murder. You know, I, I guess like, it's like a, a, a rush of dopamine to the brain for these people, you know, who get to be in the spotlight. For exactly, like bro, either were you responsible for that, bro. You you put money on bro head, you feel me? In the hood, where I come from, that, that's putting money on somebody's head, bro. And if you texting somebody saying, bro, we wanna do this to whoop doo woo 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 and that happens, Okay. Bro, you you incited a murder and you put some on whoever's head, bro. That's how it go in the hood. Ain't no I didn't tell you to do no. <laughs> what do you mean? You told that stab him. So in somebody's head that means they going they not they going to stab him. Feel me? Him or her, whoever it may be or kill him. Or shoot him. Feel me? So ain't nobody hearing that, bro. You in, you, you incited a murder, bro. And you put money on the little homie head. Something that has nothing to do with them. 
However, upon the publication of this incident to the public, there was obviously a lot of outrage. And based on my research, people got a hold of her Snapchat username, her private phone number, her address. Like, I actually saw a picture of her docs. I found that. I don't know if it's illegal Man. to download or screenshot a docs, but I did for research purposes. However, I obviously won't be sharing it in this video for legal reasons. And let me make this clear. I'm not condoning violence or any threats to a 13-year-old girl, even though she is a, an accomplice to a murder. But I exactly. do understand why people feel this way. Because if that were my brother, you know, and this... girl was the cause the direct cause of his death I, I don't think i would take her age into consideration no what i might do to her if given the chance i know it sounds f***ed up but the situation is brutal it's tragic Imagine, but now let's move on to the guy who actually did the crime according to what i found the boy who stabbed oliver stevens in the neck and left him for dead has not officially been named by uh, law enforcement but there have been pictures circulating on the internet where the people who posted them claim that this is him. In the pictures that I found of this kid, uh, you can clearly see that he has uh, dirty blonde hair. He often wears a lot of black. He's throwing up gang signs. They look to be gang signs, I think. In another picture, this kid is posed up with, uh, I believe that's a hand sign for guns, as if he's holding one. He has a little chain around his neck. Pants are hanging off his hip, you know. I don't know if he knows how to actually wear a belt. Clearly not. In another image, he's wearing all black, so clearly that's his color. I don't know what the hell. That maybe that's just a part of his image. But in this image, this is the most important one that I found. You can clearly see him posed up on an, an electric scooter, right? His face totally covered up. And in his hand is what appears to be a, a katana or some kind of sword. And I believe this kind of stuff is illegal in the UK. Like, you can't have s knives or s knives this large in your possession, especially at 13 years old. However, based on the clues that I've gathered, I believe that- And bro, I hope you have all this same energy, bro, that that, that gangster sh that you trying to portray in this picture, bro. I hope you like that, bro, when you walk in with grown men, feel me? I hope you, I hope, don't, don't, don't try to say, bro, I ain't no, nah, you better, and don't go to, don't go to PC, don't do that. Feel me? Nah. You wanna walk the line of a gangster and a real killer? Nah, you walk it. Feel me? I hope you keep this same energy. That that get that 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 wanna be a gangster and all that. You posting them pictures and all. I hope you got the same energy when you gotta walk in. I don't know how it works in England, but I hope you got that same energy when you walk into the pen, bro. Because the wolves is gonna be on you, best believe it. Because they gonna know about the about what you did before you even go in there. Because the guards gonna tell them. You feel me? Because the yeah, believe it. So I just hope you you you. I just hope you heen. Because I hope you heen in there. You feel me? Because you seem like you want it. You heen outside. You feel me? You want it to be the tough guy. You feel me? So keep it. I hope you I hope you keep it in the pen. This is the murder weapon. This is the knife that the murderer, which is this kid, used to kill Oliver Stevens. And here's another view of the uh the katana or the sword. You can see it's pretty long. And I don't know how a 13-year-old kid gets a hold of a weapon of this caliber. But hey, clearly uh this kid is <laughs> hanging around these streets. You know, I'm, I'm getting the vibe that this guy, uh, he's probably influenced by uh, a lot of violent pop music in today's day and age. We, we already know, we already know there's a lot of um, drill music. That's what I'm saying. I doubt bro's really like that, bro. Bro is not, I doubt he's really like that. Like, that's why I said, I hope he keeps that same stuff. He's trying to be outside. I hope when you go in there, you, 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 you like that, you keep that. But I know you not, bro, because people going to turn you out, bro, because real gangsters, real killers in there, they going to turn you out, bro, because you not that, bro. You was trying to do something to be cool. 
and to look cool for a girl, for a female, bro. Let's be real, bro. You're 13, 14. You don't even know what you're doing. Feel me? But. Now, now you gotta walk that. Now you gotta walk that line, bro. You wanted to do it. Now you walk that line. And like I said, bro, you better not go in there and cry, PC up. None of that. Be what you be. Be what you portray. Feel me? Mm. Like out there, you know, street music that glamorizes violence and uh, murder, and a lot of young boys are influenced by this stuff. So I'm pretty sure that this kid is is one of them. However, like I said, I haven't been able to officially find verifiable info to indicate that this is the actual person who took Oliver's life. But I, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Exactly. Because some things, some things you don't need law enforcement to come out and tell you. Like, it's pretty obvious. Hey, listen. He's dumb out you. will fucking kill you, fam. I'll fucking end you. Watch. I, I, if you're on badness, yeah? If you're on badness. Hey, listen. I'm coming outside your school tomorrow. Be there. Have your shank and we'll see what I've done. And also, I found a, an interesting Reddit thread discussing, uh, you know, Oliver's murder. And people in that thread were speculating that, at most, she would get either a year in prison or some kind of light tap on the wrist due to her age. And this speculation comes from the fact that she's a 13-year-old and she's a girl. No, bro, screw No, she better not get no, bro, no. She incented murder, bro. She, no, 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 no. And she comes from a wealthy family. However, based on what I could see, uh, this post has now been removed by Reddit moderators. I suppose they don't want people talking about the case on their website. But you know, I just want to know something. Like, realistically speaking, if things were to go as planned, right? According to Skylar, what she, she created some blueprint in her head to execute this plan to teach her boyfriend a lesson. If he had survived, what did she think was going to happen? Like, she would lure Ollie to the park, get stabbed in the hand, as she suggested. Then what? With a killer tell Ollie, hey, I gotta hit. Install the Chime app today and get started. Hey, th this is from Skylar, about the time you yelled at her at that party because you sent nudes to some other guy. Like, I, I just, I can't imagine an outcome that would make Ollie think, you know what? Mike. My girlfriend Skylar's right. Okay, Skylar, I'm, I'm sorry for yelling at you for sending nudes to other guys. Uh, can you ever forgive me? Like, what did she think that was actually going to happen? Like, that just goes to show you how immature and stupid this 13-year-old girl is. Exactly. And now, as far as what the law enforcement in Reading, England have done to the uh, suspects in this case, they've all been detained under youth detention custody, and their trial is to be set on the 21st of June, like I said before. And as for the late Oliver Stevens, a petition has been set up on change.org, and this petition is aiming for 50,000 signatures, and it calls for a ban on lethal weapons without a license, or all lethal weapons owned under the age of 21. As much as I would like to think that our late Ollie is the last victim of such a brutal attack and loss of his life, we all know that that won't be true. The best thing we can do to prevent this sort of thing from happening again is to educate the younger generation. Help them realize that even though movies and pop music may glamorize killing and, you know, violence in general, since we all know that a lot of young boys are influenced by this kind of stuff, they should be educated on the fact that it's all an expression of art and should not be taken as real life situations. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for our discussion on the murder of Oliver Stevens. Let me know what you think down below about this whole incident. I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to support me, the channel, and the videos that I produce for you guys, be sure to head on over to my Patreon page by using the link down below in the description. I have like three different tiers that I'm pretty sure some of you will find interesting. Some tiers offer your name to be featured in all my videos. You can unlock exclusive 4K wallpapers that I personally use on my computer. You get early access to videos that I upload before it ever releases on YouTube and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So if you're interested in supporting me, be sure to use the link down below in the description. And with that being said, it's your guy Destiny and I'll catch you guys and ladies in the next one. And I'm gonna end it right there, Slime. Oh. And like I said, man, bro, I hope these kids get what they deserve, bro, because the bro they killed this little, they killed the little homie for no reason, like. And I hope old girl, bro, she, I hope she get what she deserved too, because it's like, bro, you incented murder, bro. I don't, like, what? Because you wanted to be a thought, bro.
and you got mad because bro told you not to do it, like a real, like any regular boyfriend would tell his girlfriend if they were out here doing that, the same stuff, you feel me? But at the end of the day, man, this you just got to watch who you like, watch who you date, man. Like I always tell y'all, like really watch, just watch the people around you, you feel me, for real. Like seriously, you feel me? And y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Y'all think, you feel me, oh, y'all think I'm tripping or... You feel me? Y'all y'all let me know in the comments, you feel me? And like I said, y'all check out all my other reactions, the music reactions over on the channel. I got forensic files on the channel, funny reactions on the channel, like all that on the channel. I got it, I got it all on the channel. Just go make sure to go like just go mess with them, you feel me? If you haven't already. And I love y'all. Y'all stay safe and I'ma holler at y'all in the next one, so one.